Hi guys, um, so I'm going to start trying to upload videos of me giving instruction on each week's topic. So the first week, well this first week of instructional videos, we're going to be discussing author's purpose as well as author's point of view. So if you look under teams, I've uploaded several pictures that would have originally been interactive notebook activities that you can look at to help you understand um, what we're going to be doing as work throughout this this week and um, hopefully can help you to learn author's purpose and point of view. If you have any questions feel free to get on Teams which I've sent the link multiple times on your live grades you can email me on live grades and on one of the photos I posted my office hours which means when I'm going to be online specifically looking for um, you guys needing help or um, your parents emailing me whatever so we're going to go ahead and get started and I'm looking at the photo that's titled author's purpose and so the purpose is why did they write the article, the book, the text. And there's three things that they could do. They could be doing it for um, information, so to inform, and that would be your informational text. So the author's trying to give you information and teach you facts. This could be something about science, this could be something about um, biographies, news articles, all of those things would fall under and I've touched my face like four times. All of those things would fall under informative, just like documentaries, anything in history. Now the other huge one is persuade, which in middle school and high school we say to argue. So the author's trying to get you to do or try something or to believe something a certain way. So commercials are persuasive. Um, reviews, advertisements, anything that's trying to prove one thing over another is to persuade you or to argue. And then of course the last one is to entertain. That's your narrative stories, that's your um, mystery books, your novels, the things that you read just for fun because the author is trying to make you enjoy the story, keep your attention, um, things like that. So three things that an author could be doing when they write something in particular. They could be doing it to persuade, which is to argue, to inform, or to entertain. Okay, so if you think about pie, persuade, inform, entertain, those are the three things that authors do to help you, um, the three things that authors do for a purpose in their writing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move on to the next piece and it is just titled Pi. So um, if you just look at that, it tells you examples of each. So persuasion, commercials, billboards, advertisements, opinions, reviews, political ads, all of that is trying to persuade you in some way, shape, or form. Inform, that's documentaries, nonfiction texts, history and science books, news articles, recipes, and biographies. And then of course entertainment, fiction, fantasy, mystery, comics and jokes, adventures, and romance. Okay, so that's usually pretty easy when you're reading something to see what is the purpose. Is it arguing something that's trying to get me to um, agree with one side over another? Is it just informing me and giving me information? Or is it entertaining me? Those are That's the easy part. The little bit more complicated part is when you get into author's point of view. So the first one that I pulled up, um, it's titled Author POV, and it talks about the author's perspective. So it's how the author feels about the topic, opinions and beliefs. So this is usually pretty simple to understand when you're looking at um, an argumentative text because you know what they are thinking, you know their beliefs because they're arguing at the entire paper. But even in informative text, they can have an opinion about the topic. Okay? So look at things like the problem or conflicts they bring up. 
um, any actions that occur, any feelings, and the language and the dialogue. So how they talk about something. Does something, um, I know that we have talked about sometimes in your um, I Ready lessons, talking about um, positive and negative connotation. And we talked about connotation when we talked about um, word meanings and understanding context clues. Um, if someone says something, remember the music piece that was talking about um, the music was intense versus the music was ear splitting. So the connotations were different about the same topic. We knew that the boy who was enjoying himself in the picture was like enjoying the intensity while the girl who was saying that it was ear splitting, um, it was too loud, it was hurting her ears. So let's go ahead and take a look at the last one that um, I've not talked about yet and it's authors with the apostrophe point of view. So if we bring that up and we take a look at it, um, so the author's point of view is the author's opinion, their viewpoint, their perspective. So how do we determine the author's point of view, viewpoint, opinion, and or perspective when it's an informational text? So the first thing that we want to do, does the text have a positive or negative tone? Second. Does the author seem to side with someone or something? Next, what does the author focus on and continue to repeat? And look for strong, powerful words or thoughts to show the author's feeling or bias. Okay, so the author will show you how he feels in his words, even if he never comes right out and says it. So, what is the definition of point of view, viewpoint, opinion, or perspective? It's the way the author looks at a topic. It is the author's belief. Sometimes it's implicit or indirect. In this case, you have to make an inference based on the evidence. 